Hello, I'm Maurice, maker of the electric eel wheel fiber tools. And I've always made bobbin, 3D printable bobbins available for my different spinning wheels, and you can get those on Thingiverse or printables. But what I did here is a project that allows me to make different types of bobbins for all sorts of different spinning wheels using a single set of files in a CAD app called Fusion 360. And I'll be making that CAD app um, or that file for Fusion 360 available so people can make different size bobbins for a large variety of spinning wheels. Um, sure, there'll be some kind of spinning wheel that won't be compatible, but I think the vast majority of spinning wheels will work with, uh, will be able to have bobbins made for them using this file. So I've got some examples here of the different kinds of things you can do with this bobbin file. So this is a bobbin that's compatible with the electric eel wheel nano and it's got um, a little groove there for the tensioner it's got you know a pretty small size and an or or it fits a spindle of uh, three eighths of an inch actually all of these fit three eighths of an inch uh, spindles but um, I did verify that different spindle sizes uh, definitely work so uh, that's one example of something you can do. Here's one for the electric eel wheel five, and that's uh, different. It, it sort of combines the tension pulley and sort of the edge of the bobbin that holds the yarn into sort of one piece. And I printed this bobbin, which works great on that e-spinner. And here's another one for the electric eel wheel six. So this side has nothing. It's just there to hold the yarn. And then the other side on this bobbin uh, has a, a little disc uh, for the tensioner similar to what the electric eel wheel nano had. So those are some examples of types of uh, bobbins you can print using these files and I'll be including uh, this diagram. It's, it's very useful for anyone wanting to make their own bobbins or even asking for bobbins. You can see there's a bunch of two letter variables on this sheet, uh, AA all the way through um, LL. And basically that po they point, they correspond to sort of the different features. And if you wanna get rid of a certain feature, like a lot of my spinning wheels don't have a groove in this part of the pulley, or they don't have this pulley at all, uh, what you do is you set those parameters to, you can't set them to zero or it causes an error in the application, but if you put them to a very small value, they essentially disappear. So I often set them to 0 0.01 millimeters and that seems to work pretty well. So with you know the control of these different parameters, you can sort of set uh, all of the things you need to do to make all sorts of different bobbins that will hopefully work with different spinning wheels. And it's my hope that uh, people who don't have 3D printable bobbins for their spinning wheels but would like them will look at this diagram, which is online, and then uh, request somebody make uh, the model if they're not familiar with Fusion 360 or they don't want to learn it. Uh, it's not very difficult, but you do have to know a little bit about CAD and or spend some time learning it. I, I would imagine a lot of people who are you know decent around computers could figure it all out in half an hour or something but uh, for people who use Fusion 360 making all of these changes and, and generating a model as long as you provide the different parameters that are needed um, all of these different dimensions uh, then it should only take maybe two or three minutes for someone familiar with Fusion 360 to generate a different bobbin size with these files. So hopefully this will be useful to a lot of people out there who are looking for 3D printable bobbins for their spinning wheels but uh, don't have access to them. It really doesn't apply to my spinning wheels because I've already released bobbins for all of my e-spinners, but um, these are a little different. Maybe people pref will prefer these types of bobbins. So um, I'll release uh, both the Fusion 360 files and uh, the files for my bobbins along with the parameters I used so that you have some examples. What I have here is one example. I think this is, is this for the, yeah, this is, this is for the Nano. Hopefully with this information, people can start making uh, bobbins for their spinning wheels.
Thanks for watching.